My name is Randy Gardner. I'm Ronnie Lee Gardner's brother. We're up here in the northwest corner of Utah, Box Elder County. I own 160 acres here. I bought back in 2002. It's been kind of a dream of mine and Ronnie's ever since. We bought the property to come up with a program for kids that come from dysfunctional families and are having problems with the juvenile justice system. We wanted to get a survival camp up here where we could teach kids how to grow organic gardening, teach them how to farm and ranch. But I think over the last eight years, it's probably what's it's been a dream of mine and Ronnie's, you know, to do something good for society. Ronnie grew up with a very dysfunctional family and he would be a good way of him giving back to society. And he just thinks it would really help the youth that are having problems growing up and are in trouble and get them away from the, the city life and give them something to dream of and something to do. How this all got started after I bought the property, Ronnie wanted to, he was getting magazines, uh, Mother Earth News, and watching a lot of news from, from TV, and uh, he wanted to get into the organic thing. He thinks that the pesticides and stuff are poisoning our children, poisoning us. He, he really believes in the organic side. He's read tons and tons of magazines on organic. I mean, he, he knows more about organic gardening than anyone I, I know or know of. You know, he grew up in a city with uh, lots of dysfunction in, in his lifetime, and you know, he'd sure like a chance to give back to the, to the kids of the, of the world. And he, we actually want it as a nonprofit organization, so there ain't big corporations coming in and making money off from it. He thinks giving them a growing, growing gardens and eating their, you know, having chickens and having a few cattle and having them live off the land and learn, you know, learn a, learn a trade. Gardening or horticulture or agriculture, he, he and I believe that it would just be very beneficial to the kids. Uh, right now I'm standing on part of the property. Uh, we're facing the Grouse Creek, Creek Mountains northwest direction. Um, the property that we have here is a 160 acres, it's a half square mile of rolling hills and cedars and junipers. A lot of wildlife up here, deer and elk. The sunsets here and the night skies are the most beautiful thing you've ever seen. It's just like stars from one end of the, to the land to the other. I mean, you can see the Big Dipper and the Milky Way and so majestic and peaceful and you'd have no outside interference from from anything so you can if, if there was a program up here and we got it going kids wouldn't have no outside interference they could concentrate on you know what their problem was we'd have counselors up here and you know it'd be a full staffed program um, when Ronnie was when we were growing up he was six seven eight we always had gardens I wasn't at that time really interested in growing gardens or stuff but Ronnie would always go out there and help my dad grow gardens and learn we'd have to grow our own food and tomatoes and we actually had chickens and rabbits, chickens we actually raised for the eggs and for the, um, to eat them. Ronnie was really interested in that as a, as a youth. Um, and I think it just followed him throughout his life. He, as he got older, he, he never really actually had the chance to live on his own because he was always incarcerated from the age 10 on. But once he um, got locked up permanently, on death row, that's mostly what he's done is read books on agriculture and farming and wilderness and Mother Earth News and um, horses and he just thinks all that, you know, if he'd had a chance to have that kind of life himself, he probably wouldn't be in the position he's in. He would like to give back and give a chance to other kids to, you know, to get out of the ruckus of the city and to you know get back and concentrate on get back to basics basically is what he wants matter of fact that's the name he wanted to name the program was back to basics i'm tyler ayers in november of 2008 i was contacted by randy gardner the brother of ronnie lee gardner randy gave me a call and asked me if i would call his brother well i'm a pretty busy criminal defense attorney and i didn't know you know, nobody calls me and asks me to just call their brother. Well, to make a long story short, that's how I got introduced to Ronnie Lee Gardner. 
Randy asked me to come out and talk to Ronnie because Ronnie had seen me on a, a local show where I sponsored local young fighters. People that were trying to improve their life through the sport of mixed martial arts. And Ronnie watched that show while he was in prison. He watches it on a regular basis and he sees that part of that and he was impressed by those fighters and he was impressed by the fact that I was willing to sponsor them and had some sort of faith and belief in them. So he got a hold of me. Randy asked me to do a couple other things for the family, some legal work for the family, and through that process I was able to meet Ronnie Lee Gardner. I met Ronnie and the first thing Ronnie ever wants to talk about is the program. The property and the program. Back to Basics was the name that he gave it and what he said, what he's told me that he's wanted it to be about from the very beginning is simply a program where youth who are having trouble, troubled kids, kids who grew up kind of like Ronnie grew up, have a different place where they can go. A place where they can be passionate about not just recovering from the troubles that they've got, but passionate about learning to grow things and about getting attached to Mother Earth passionate about seeing good things come to pass. Ronnie said that if he would had something like that, he might be in a different place today. Now one of the things that Ronnie emphasized to me over and over and over, he said, Tyler, I'm not doing this because I want to save my life. I'm doing it because I hope that it will save someone else's life. He says, Tyler, I don't care if you ever use my name. I don't care if this is a Ronnie Lee Gardner program. I don't care about getting any of the credit for it. He has told me repeatedly, my life is over. No matter what, I will never get out of here. But if this idea can improve the life of some other young person, someone who but for this program or something similar, if that idea can do that, he says, Tyler, then I will have known that I did some good on the planet. Ronnie knows that the kind of work I do is different. So I, I've never been his death penalty attorney. I've never been involved with his criminal allegations that brought him to prison. I've been involved with other things, with other legal aspects of his life, and with this program. And this is his first focus every time I've ever talked to him. Any communication we've had. Now the program as he's described it to me and the business plan that we've put together involve putting putting together very, not elaborate structures, simple structures, tent cities, if you will, to begin with. An opportunity to bring the kids up, these troubled youth, bring them up and actually have them help to transform this project. And as one youth grows up through the project and graduates, then there will be an opportunity for them to come and supervise, similar to other programs. And as, as they grow on top of each other, they'll be teaching one another. Ronnie's looking for a place where these youth can come and actually feel like they're attached to something and become a bigger part of something other than just another government program. As part of the services that I've done for Ronnie and in working with Ronnie and Randy on this project, we've set up a nonprofit organization called Back to Basics Inc. Uh, it's a Utah corporation. We also have the, the business plan for this project ready to go. But what I'd like you to understand is that his intentions have been good and are good with regard to this program. He's not doing it to make up for the sins of the past. He's not doing it, you know, as some sort of penance. He's not providing this and I'm not providing this information so that you'll look at him and say he's never made any mistakes. This is simply so that you see that this is a man who has good ambitions. The property runs for about a half mile, which is about as far as you can see. Uh, the direction that you're looking right now is east, and then you're going to be panning to the southeast. And then as you get out there, you can see then the furthest south out there. Now, of course, that's not Randy's property, but that's the Great Salt Lake that you see out there. And that's just south of us. And you can see how beautiful and wide open it is. You can see what a perfect place it would be for anybody to spend a significant amount of time. It's beautiful. As you come a little further to the south here, you can even see there the dry lake bed where the lake has receded. It's gorgeous and it's unlike any other place. 
it would be a unique opportunity for any young person, whether they're struggling in life or not, to come and spend some time here. And this is Ronnie and Randy's vision, that this place could be a place where people who've struggled could come and get back in touch with nature, back in touch with whatever it was that made them good. It's a beautiful place.